welcome to Off The Record, brought to you by Brussels Jazz Weekend, free music festival every spring in Brussels. It's record time, and this time my choice is Chet's choice. It's a record made by trumpeter vocalist Chet Baker in 1985 with the two Belgian jazz musicians Philippe Catherine, him again, on guitar, and uh, from Brussels is Jean-Louis Rassinfoss on double bass. This is one of the finer Letter Day albums of Chet Baker. Now everybody knows Chet Baker, he's a true legend, he's an icon of jazz and his image and the stories that surround him perhaps supersede the actual sound of his music. One of the stories about Chet Baker is how he was discovered. He first got noticed when he was chosen as the trumpet player to play alongside Charlie Parker, who was then playing at the West Coast in the beginning of the 1950s. Um, every trumpet player on the West Coast appeared at the auditions. Chet Baker walked in, played a few notes and Charlie Parker exclaimed, stop the audition, I've got my trumpet player. And he sent everybody else back in. Now, playing alongside Charlie Parker is like being touched by the hand of God or receive a blessing from the Pope of Jazz. Now, it is a good story. The only problem is, it probably isn't true. And that's the way it is with Chet Baker. If the legend becomes fact, print the legend. And Chet Baker was a jazz legend. Among these Belgian musicians were Philippe Catherine, who we already talked about uh, with the Jack Sells LP, and the other one was the self-taught Brussels double bass player Jean-Louis Rassinfoss. The best part of 1985, these three toured around the globe. You had Philippe Catherine, who was already internationally known because he had been the guitar player for the French rock jazz violin player Jean-Luc Ponty, and he provided an ideal counterpoint to the lyrical lines of Chet Baker. And then we have Jean-Louis Rassinfoss, who was, like Chet Baker, a self-taught musician at heart, who had to rely on his gut feeling and his eternal ear to find his way through music. And the music these three made together is uh, many times romantic and seductive, but at other times could surprise you with irresistible groove. As is written in the liner notes, it's a continuous stream of pure poetry and it has some good music on it with some marvelous guitar work by Philippe Catherine. Philippe Catherine, who has nothing but good to say about his relationship with Chad Baker. And I'm going to quote him to you. This is Philippe Catherine. It was one of the nicest experiences of my life. Chad is the one who touched me most deeply. His sound is absolutely incredible. It sounds like it comes from heaven. It's amazing how that man could play. I can never forget any moment of that. So don't take it from me. Take it from one who knows, Philippe Catherine. Chet Baker is one of the most well-loved jazz musicians there are. Uh, not every LP he made is a work of genius, but this is a good one. This is where many forces are combined. You have the best of the Belgian jazz scene and you have that lyrical, eternally seductive trumpet of Chet Baker. It's Chet's choice, which was my choice, and now it can be your choice. Check it out. Of the Record is a jazzy online video series brought to you by the Free City Festival Brussels Jazz Weekend. Subscribe to your YouTube channel and don't miss a single episode.